You see that? Oh, I got it! Yeah! <laughs> you see how firm that is? Oh, I'm so proud. Okay, so this is the two. Welcome back to my channel, my name is Jimmy Juliet and today we will be extensively talking about how to two strand twist for the best bomb twist out. Um, so it's been three years since I made my how to twist a natural hair properly for twist outs. So I thought an update was clearly necessary and I've learned a lot since then, I've grown a lot since then and my hair has definitely also grown. So that video is currently at 1.5 million views, how amazing is that? So you can watch it here after this video and thank you all that have commented, watched and shared and even hated the video. Thank you all for allowing it to get to 1.5 million views. I would, that's, I'm just, I'm eternally grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so today I'll be teaching you two different methods to twist natural hair properly for twist outs. First of all, what I would like you to know is that for you to get a bomb to start, you need three things. You need to make sure that you deep condition with a conditioner that activates your curls, that like enhances your curl pattern. So the second product that you'll need is a good leave-in conditioner that will also define your curls. But you also need a defining product or gel that will also activate your curl pattern or will also enhance your curl pattern or will also define your curl pattern. It depends on what grammar you prefer. <laughs> Okay, but it depends on just what you prefer to call it. Okay, so another thing to note is twists for twist outs depend solely on size of the twists. So if you decide to do small parts, then you will get more of a defined twist but less volume. But if you do decide to twist in medium sections, then you have kind of a balance between defined curls, that's the length of your hair, will have some defined curls, and then you have more volume at the roots. You could also comb your roots to have more volume, but these are definite outcomes depending on the size of your twist. However, like what I'm wearing now, I'm wearing a large chunky twist out. And when you have a large chunky twist out, you have less defined curls and more volume, okay? So those are the three things to note when you want to begin twisting your hair. Moving on. <laughs> now, let's move on to the juice of this video, which is how to two strand twist for twist out in two different ways. So um, what I'm going to do is show you, and all you need to do, I'm going to be taking a medium size section because I prefer medium size sections. And a medium size section looks something like this. So the trick to this first type of twist is it depends on what hand is your dominant one. So I am right-handed and I twist from right to left. So yes. So what we're going to do is going to take two strands, that's two parts, like so. And we are going to go right over left. So we go right over left like this. And then when we want to continue, we put this finger holding this one underneath, like so. Now, this is the way I would recommend beginners to start, to just like put it over each other and then make sure that it is as firm and as close together as possible. That's like the basics for beginners. But then if you're, if you're watching this video to learn how to improve on your twist out, then I suggest that when, as you twist over the other, so this one twists inside, and then you go like that, twist in, you twist in, you twist in, twist in, twist. That's why it's called a twist out because you're twisting it and then turning it. So you're twisting and turning, twisting and turning. Once you get to the end, I always recommend that once you get to the end 
always make sure that you use your finger to twirl the ends. So you apply your product to the end and then you twirl the end. I will write a list of the best products that I've used for twist outs on my blog, ibocalls.com because if I choose to list everything in this video, this video will probably be like 30 minutes long. So I will do that. So if you're interested in knowing what, what products work with 4C hair to have the best twist out that I have used, I don't, I cannot tell you what I haven't used. So based on what I've used in the past and right now, I will list everything out on my website, ibocalls.com so you can go there when you're done with this video. So this is what you would get. Can you see what a medium sized twist looks like, two strand? Can you see how neat that is? Can you see how it, can you see how the rope, can you see how it goes down? Yeah. Now, let me show you the wrong way. <laughs> okay. So if you're twist, if you've been twisting like this, There is not really anything wrong with it, but then it is not the best kind of twist for bomb twist outs. This would stretch your natural hair. It's good for stretching, but it's not good for defining your twists for twist outs. So that's what I mean by wrong, because so many people went ballistic when I said this was a <laughs> this was the wrong way to twist in the last video. I still stand by it because it's the wrong way to twist for twist outs. Not necessarily the wrong way to twist natural hair so understanding people understanding so yeah so this is the wrong way all right now I'm going to show you the second method for those of you who are left-handed so those of you who have your left hand as your dominant hand or those of you who just want to use your left to twist so left to right So you start with this two strands as well. Or oh, you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna twist with my right on this side and I'm going to twist with my left on this side so you can see what the difference is. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly quickly twist this one. It's not gonna be on slow motion anymore. So when you get the hang of it, you get like super quick like I am. Okay, so this is always a bit tricky for me because my right hand is my dominant hand. But then I figure that some people would want to know this or you know, some people would just want to try it as well. So you take a medium section, like so, like this one here. Let me see, that's not enough. Just take a little bit more, add it, yep. All right, so we've got this. So we're going to split it into two as well. And this time we're going this way. So left to right. Gosh, this is a bit tricky. All right, so left to right, like so. And then make sure it's as firm as possible because that's the key to this style. All right, so secure the root and then when you twist, you twist this part and then you twist this part. Okay, and then you twist. <laughs> So you go again, you twist this, and you twist that, and then you twist. You twist this, and you twist that, and then you twist. Twist, twist, twist. Okay? Twist, like that.
is my dominant hand it looks like the right hand is doing the most work but no it's actually going this way compared to this this was going towards the left and then this is going towards the right so but it's using your left hand to twist would you say if it matters which direction the twist is twisted i would say not necessarily because it this only affects the way your hair falls and the way the curls fall and when your twists are twisted out it doesn't really matter because everything looks uniform anyway so it is entirely your choice to know which twist suits you do you see that oh, i got it yeah <laughs> do you see how firm that is oh i'm so proud okay so this is the two so this is a right hand twist this one here and then this is the left hand ah! <laughs> okay i'm gonna move closer so you can see Okay, so I hope you all got that and now you can see what it looks like when you twist to the right and when you twist to the left. It just depends on the way you want your curls to lie. I am used to using my right hand so most of my twists have come out, you know, laying this way. But the point is, the only difference it makes is that it just changes the way your curls lie. So it's not much of a big deal but it's just fantastic to learn and teach you that you can twist in two different ways and also to see which ways are correct and which ways are wrong. So I'm going to show you the wrong ways using these parts I just created and this one with the right, with my right dominant hand. I'm going to show you how to twist wrongly here and <laughs> It's just basically a, a twist a twist for twist that that is twisted wrongly is basically a twist that is loose not firm and is already frizzy before you even finish like you can just tell the difference between both of them so can you see the difference so this is like gosh my twists are so good they don't look bad <laughs> Okay, well, like, when your twists are just frizzy and, oh gosh, this twist looks too good to be wrong, but yeah. <laughs> so, let me just make like a, a really, really bad one. I don't know if I can, but my hands are so used to doing good twists that they just make like really... But like, when you just do this, yeah, I think this one, is, this, this looks like a bad twist. Okay, so when you do this, this is a twist that you just like do to your hair if you want to put it out of the way but this is not a twist and that you can use to have a defined twist out you can't achieve any defined looking twist out with this this is just loose it doesn't do anything now if you're left-handed then this is what happens when i don't twist the way i taught you like how to do this one and i'm twisting left-handed watch my hands get a bit confused <laughs> if I don't do it the way I taught you to and then I just like twist like normally like this this is what happens exactly the same as this one so they both get really like loose and puffy like if you if this is the look you're going for fantastic but then if it's for twist outs I stress again then this doesn't work like it does not work so yeah this is already coming loose fantastic so yeah so this is the difference between right and wrong twist for twist out and then this is the difference between right and wrong twist for twist out okay so well, this video has ended up being way longer than I expected it to be and I want you all to digest it properly without having to clutter you with so much information so I've decided to upload how my twist outs come out and look on my hair from day one after wash day when it's all shrunken to when it's all big and voluminous after a couple of days so that you can expect that in my next video so thank you all so much for watching let me know what you learned below let me know what your thoughts are whether negative or positive hey no judgments here and don't judge me <laughs> but yeah so just let me know what your comments and thoughts are don't forget to like comment and share this video on your channels on your websites on your social media pages obviously don't forget to subscribe baby 
subscribe <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to you know be part of the igb crew igb crew is able calls crew we are a family work community we love to share we love to teach and we love to be there for each other so even if it's on the basis of natural hair we got you <laughs> so yes i hope you all love this video as i enjoyed making it and as i always say make sure you live well live great and pray always thank you all so much god bless abundantly and have a wonderful wonderful day bye <laughs> who can say that five time fast two strand twist two twist okay that was like a tongue tie twist two strand twist two 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 strand twist two strand twist for twist outs two strand twist for twist outs two strand two strand twist for twist out two. okay let's just go on with the video <laughs> okay so i'm gonna take that's my mom. <laughs> <laughs>